Welcome to Gaming Recap. Today we will talk about God of War, Ragnarok. This video will contain heavy spoilers about the main story and ending. If you like our Gaming Recap, click on the like button and subscribe to this channel. Put on a headset, turn off the lights, and enjoy. The story begins as Fimblewinter nears its end. Kratos, and Atreus, return home from a hunting trip, fending off an ambush from a vengeful Freya, only to find their wolf Fenrir, in his final moments. After Fenrir dies, Atreus' grief transforms him into a bear through his still uncontrolled giant magic, briefly battling his father before coming back to his senses. Shortly after, Thor, arrives at their home, fulfilling a vision Atreus had at the end of the previous game, and is joined by Odin, who proposes to leave Kratos' family alone if Atreus abandons his secret search for Tyr. Kratos refuses and duels Thor to a stalemate, but Odin tells Atreus he will leave Kratos alone if the former comes to Asgard. With the aid of the Huldra brothers, Kratos, Atreus, and Mimir, take refuge in Sindri's home on the branches of the world tree, Yggdrasil, in the realm between realms. Atreus admits that he and Sindri have been secretly re-examining the giant shrines scattered throughout Midgard, searching for clues about Tyr's whereabouts. Determining Tyr is alive and imprisoned in Svartalfheim, Kratos reluctantly agrees to help Atreus, if only to prevent Ragnarok, and they travel to the Dwarven realm where they rescue the traumatized Tyr. The group then heads to Alfheim, visiting Groa's shrine to better understand the prophecy concerning Ragnarok. Fighting against both the elves and Tyr's newfound pacifism, they learn of an alternative prophecy to Ragnarok, one in which only Asgard is destroyed but all other realms survive under a new champion implied to be Atreus using his alternative giant name of Loki. Returning home, Kratos and Atreus have a falling out over the latter's supposed destiny. That night, Atreus awakens in Jotunheim with the giantess Angerboda, who shows him a mural that seemingly foretells Kratos' death in Ragnarok and Atreus joining Odin. Atreus also learns that the giants transferred their souls into spiritual stones to evade Odin's wrath. After helping stop Angerboda's grandmother Grilla from stealing animal souls, Atreus is entrusted with the remaining spirit stones, using one to put a giant soul into the body of a snake. Atreus returns to Midgard, where Kratos angrily informs him he has been missing for two days, but they are again attacked by Freya with her Valkyrie powers restored. However, Freya relents when Kratos shields her from Atreus and agrees to spare Kratos if he helps her break the curse binding her to Midgard. Taking the form of a falcon to circumvent Odin's spell, Freya travels with Kratos and Mimir to Vanaheim, where her estranged brother Freyr leads a resistance against Odin. As they travel, Kratos opens up to Freya about the deaths of his first family in Greece and the emptiness of revenge. After killing Nithhogg and breaking the curse, Freya admits that she can neither forgive Kratos for killing her son, nor kill him in return, and the two make amends. Back at the Huldra refuge, Kratos and Atreus have another argument regarding his recent deceitful behavior, ending in Atreus fleeing to Asgard to find a way to prevent his father's death. Atreus has a hostile encounter with Heimdall but is saved by Thor and Odin, the latter requesting his help in preventing Ragnarok by reassembling an ancient mask that can supposedly look into the rift between worlds and grant infinite knowledge. Meanwhile, seeking to reclaim Atreus, Kratos has Freya and Mimir lead him to the Norns, who say that Heimdall is destined to kill Atreus. In response, Kratos and Brock forge the Draupnir ring into the powerful Draupnir spear, capable of bypassing Heimdall's foresight and harming him. While searching for mask pieces in Helheim with Thor's daughter Thrud, Atreus accidentally releases the giant wolf Garm, who begins tearing holes in the realms, allowing Hell Walkers to wreak havoc. Atreus reunites with Kratos as both attempts to stop Garm. During the fight, Atreus realizes he accidentally bound Fenrir's soul into his knife when the wolf died, and resurrects Fenrir by infusing his soul, into Garm. Now reconciled, Kratos and Atreus return to the refuge, where Atreus shares his knowledge of Odin's mask with the rest of the group, but the discussion is tabled when they learn that Freyr was captured by the Aesir. Kratos, Atreus, Mimir, and Freyr return to Vanaheim to rescue Freyr, during which Kratos is forced to kill Heimdall and claims Gjallarhorn, inevitably setting Ragnarok in motion. While Freyr recovers, Kratos reluctantly allows Atreus to infiltrate Asgard and finish reassembling the mask in order to steal it from Odin, though Thor nearly kills him. Atreus is successful and escapes back to the refuge, Atreus gives the mask to Tyr, who suddenly agrees to fight and reveals he knows of a secret way to Asgard. 
Brock, suspicious of Tyr's sudden change of heart, suddenly realizes Tyr is calling Atreus Loki, prompting Tyr to fatally stab Brock, revealing he had been Odin in disguise the whole time. The group drives Odin away and retrieve the mask, but a grief-stricken Sindri blames Atreus for Brock's death and abandons the group to mourn. Atreus and Kratos commit to Ragnarok, entering Muspelheim to help Surtur achieve a destined primordial form that will destroy Asgard. Under Kratos' leadership, the united forces of the other realms gather at Tyr's temple in Midgard. Kratos sounds the Gjallarhorn, opening all realm travel to begin the siege of Asgard. Initially, the battle does not go well, the other realms are quickly cut off, the elves and Vanir struggle with Asgard's defenses, Sindri comes alone so that no more dwarves will die, and the army is forced to rescue innocent Midgardian refugees from the uncontrollable Surtur. However, the tide turns when Angerboda arrives with Fenrir and the snake Atreus previously saved, now fully grown into Jormungandr, the world serpent, who occupies Thor while Sindri destroys Asgard's war machines and protective wall. Thrud and her mother Sif then defect after discovering Odin used refugees as living shields. Thor knocks Jormungandr back in time with Mjolnir and engages Kratos in battle once again, but he is convinced to stand down to help his family, only to be killed by Odin for disobeying. Odin then engages Kratos, Atreus, Freya, and Mimir, and the group overpowers and defeat him. Atreus shatters the mask and traps the unrepentant Odin's soul in a spiritual stone, but a vengeful Sindri smashes it to kill the Allfather. As Surtur destroys Asgard, Freyr sacrifices himself to ensure everyone escapes through a rift made by Angerboda and Fenrir. After the siege, Atreus reunites with Angerboda in Midgard, who shows him and Kratos a mural his mother Faye had deliberately destroyed so that they could determine their own fate. Atreus resolves to find the other surviving giants, and he bids a heartfelt farewell to his father. Looking further into the shrine, Kratos discovers a mural depicting him as a beloved, and peaceful god, revered by all. Finally hopeful about his future, Kratos recruits Freya and Mimir to help rebuild and restore peace. In the game's secret ending, Kratos, Freya, Mimir, and Sindri attend a funeral for Brock in Svartalfheim. That's all for the story of God of War, Ragnarok. Don't forget to click on the like button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to this channel for further gaming recaps.